Did you like it though? Did you double tell me? Sprinkle season on another season. What's the reason that you think we eat? I live on top despite 11 ops. But let them watch and try with all they got. I'm trying to win a championship and run it back. Probably with two thoroughbred running back. Trooper told they don't want to see that. Let the trooper told I won't know how to act. Want to be in the playoffs till there's no one left. So you can crown me the king of the trip well. So you can crown me the king of the trip well. Crown me the king of the triple L. Another year my opponent's dropping tears, please take these L's well. This another year my opponent's dropping tears, please take these L's well. This another year my opponent's dropping tears, please take these L's well. This another year my opponent's dropping tears, please take these L's well. Please take these L's well. Please take these L's well. What's good, YouTube? And what is this, episode four? This is another Triple FL special. And as usual, let's cut to the chase. First matchup, we have El Ganador versus They Call Me Diddy. And winner takes another L. 145 to 116. Cat was led by Lamar giving him 31. Dealing. Old man Thielen giving him 31 also. And Jacoby Myers coming back and giving him 15. Mm. I see you, Cat. You finally, you finally got your first win, Cat. You know, I, I had to kick you in gear when I start talking trash to you. And you woke up, I see. You woke up. Next matchup, we have Dynamo FC versus the Wild Cards. And Ivan gets his second win by the hair of his chinny chin chin 108 to 107 and he was led by st brown giving him 19 and swift giving him 14. tough break wayne tough break wayne next matchup we have winter is coming versus donna man down and Craig takes another L, 168 to 135. I bet he, he probably thought he was safe putting a 135. And boom, Jay hit him with the 168. Stay in your place. <laughs> Jay was led by Mostert, giving him 45. Hill giving him 30 and Gino giving him 19. Next matchup, we have Gerard's optimal team versus the Mad King and Kendrick gets the W 151 to 112 and another L goes to Gerard. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Gerard, are you, are you okay? Pipe to Gerard, are you there? What's the stick? Do something. <laughs> Kendrick was led with 45 from Keenan Allen and 24 from Josh Allen. Look, the Allen's putting in work. The Allen's putting in work for him. Gator don't play no shit. And last week, matchup of the week was Dante's Inferno versus I Pity the Fool. 
And Ebony gets the win 122 to 116. I'm I, Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the fucking music off. People just didn't show up, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you. You know. You put people out here to play. And I'll show it for you. You put them in your starting lineup. And they give you four points. Four points from Higgins. Man, are you kidding me? I lost by six. I needed six. Got two points from Kelly. Kelly had a perfect perfect running matchup and gave me two points. Hurts gave me two points. Puka who been been blazing the trail gave me 12. It's just it was rough out here. It was rough out here. I'm the one that should be talking about pimp down. Down him. down. Let him set it. Pimp in the chest. So, so, you know, um, but no, no biggie. Um, you know, I usually give W's to Ebony anyway. You know, I, I let her have that. You know, it, it, it feeds her ego. And hey, you know, hey, the world, the world is brighter that way, you know. And this week's blowout of the week goes to Gerard. Ain't that like your second one, Gerard? He loses by 39 points. Gerard then went from champ to chomp. All right, let's take a look at the standings. We still have the ladies leading the, leading the league and being undefeated. The ladies are currently untouched. Carolyn at number one, Ebony at number two, Jay at number three, Kendrick at number four, Ivan at number five, and your commission at number six. And remember, you know, there's only six playoff spots, so you got to make sure. You got to make sure you in the top six. And, and, and let's take a look to the bottom. When you go to the bottom, we got the champ sitting at the bottom. No wins. And right next to him, it's winner. Uh, 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 uh. What did I say last week? If that man don't win, I refuse to call him a winner. It's loser. Loser is sitting at the bottom, and loser wants everyone to know. Loser made a comment on the last episode on YouTube, and he said, Mr. Commish, please let the people know that I've got Aaron Jones and Cup on my team. People, people, let me know. Let me know. Is that an excuse? Is that an excuse for going winless? For being trash? Did, when we drafted, we knew Cup was gonna be was dealing with a hamstring injury. We had a late draft. You knew Cup was dealing with a hamstring energy injury and could go on IR. You're drafting these older players, and when they're not available due to some injury, you making excuses? Man of up. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Do you hear me, El Pedadora? I know what I know what El Ganador means in Spanish. So you are El Pedadora. Stop playing. <laughs> Let's go over next week's matchup. All right, this week's matchup we have Dante's Inferno versus Dynamo FC, and I am scheduled to win. By eight. Next matchup, we have El Paradora. 
El Petador versus I Pity the Fool. And Loser is projected to lose by 10. All right. All right, Loser, don't. Hey, if you lose this matchup, it's going to be a long season for you, homie. Ain't no coming back from 0 and 4. Ain't no coming back from 0 and 4 because winner. I mean, loser. Go look at next week, homie. You got about three, four people on by. It's probably going to be another L. So if you lose this matchup, it's, a, it's like a guarantee you going 0 and 5. 0 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> Next matchup we have Donna Man Down versus G Man. And this is projected to be a close matchup with Craig winning by one. Someone's gonna go down one and three while the other goes to five hundred. Like it's about to go down. Next matchup we have Winter is coming versus Gerard's optimal team. And Jay is scheduled to win by eight. It looks like he probably get another win. How Gerard's team have been doing. Jay will get another win. Next matchup, we have the Mad King versus the Wild Cards. And this is scheduled to be a very good matchup. This probably should have been matchup of the week. The fourth ranked team versus the fifth ranked team with a projection of Kendrick winning by 0.3. So this is going to be a very close matchup. But for the matchup of the week. Oh, yeah. You want to get jiggy with it. Purple Pride versus They Call Me Diddy. The first seed versus the tenth seed, and we and we about to find out if Cat is able to sink or swim, sink or swim, because he is currently projected to lose by five. He definitely needs this win, but he going against the undefeated first seed. So let, let's see if you can take down Carolyn. So you get back to 500, or will you remain at the bottom of the standings, homie? <laughs> ah, good luck. All right, this week should be fun. Should be humbling. So I wish everyone luck, except for the person I'm playing. Peace.